Hello guys, good evening and welcome to Everything Machinery. So today we have one more question from K2021, which actually uh, is quite interesting. So let's have a look at how to solve this particular question. A hypothetical binary eutectic phase diagram, as you can see here, is shown below. Uh, a hypothetical binary eutectic phase diagram of AB uh, is shown below, as you can see in this particular figure. An alloy with 5% B solidifies with no convection. Assuming steady state, the critical temperature gradient that is required to maintain a planar solidification front is. So, there is a lot of concept involved in this particular question. So, let's see how to actually go about it. So, before that, let's try to understand what is this planar solidification front and what are the factors that are actually helping or you know involving in maintaining this particular planar solidification front right so let us see so uh, we know that we have many modes of solidifications or you can rather say the solidification itself is depending on two major things okay what are those number one the temperature gradient which is denoted by symbol G and the other one is called as the solidification rate okay or many people also you know call it solidification velocity which is R so the solidification mechanism involves these two parameters and the G versus R plots give lots and lots of information about the solidification mechanism so let's try to actually understand okay how this g versus r looks like and you know how uh, solidification depends on this so before going there let us also see what exactly g means so here i mean mathematically what g is g is nothing but mine dt by dx and what is r well, R has nothing to do, so let's keep it a meter per second or maybe I can say dx by dt. Clear? Now, two things that you uh, have to look at carefully. So, from this, we can bring out two things. One is the ratio of it, G by R ratio, which gives you something. And the other is the product G into R. So, what these are giving you? So, basically, this G by R is called as my morphology ratio okay it is simply nothing but you know uh, from the g versus r graph you can uh, actually say by the slope of the lines okay and similarly gr what is gr if you carefully see dt by dx into dx by dt so this is interesting right so this gets cancelled out i am left with dt by dt what is this guy this is nothing but the cooling rate Yes or no? The rate of change of temperature with respect to time is called my cooling rate. Therefore, the product of G and R tells me what is the cooling rate and the G by R, which we'll uh, look in a bit, will tell about the morphology. Morphology is nothing but the you know type of nuclei that is forming. Okay, And cooling rate obviously says about the size of whatever morphology that is coming. And how this uh, curve looks like, uh, let us see. So, G versus R, G on the y-axis, R on the x-axis. And you see something like this, the plot will be straight lines. Okay. Now, very easy actually. So, what happens here is that as this particular G by R is changing, the regions, you see, I have split into different regions, right? Four regions. Now, think about it. If the temperature gradient is very very high or g by r ratio is very very high i can say that i have a planar type of solidification front you see that the in so basically solidification front is nothing but the uh, interface between two phases let's say solid and liquid okay something like this okay slowly if it is i mean we are coming down it converts into more cellular Look something like this. So there would be some tiny 
particular issue is generated and they the interface looks something like this okay and uh, the next if even uh, you know g is decreased what happens you will be seeing columnar dendrites so columnar dendrites look something like this i hope you already know right what is dendrites yeah of course i hope you are understanding how what i am drawing here right and finally if g is very very low we have ichiast things ichiast dendritic structures okay now when i say dendrite what you are actually uh, you know thinking of so basically you have some ichiast dendrites something like this okay now when i say this particular uh, dendrite the word dendrite what you are actually thinking of yes constitutional supercooling right so basically you remember when the temperature gradient is high we say that if there are any perturbations or protrusions they can easily melt down why because of this particular high g okay forget about r okay for a minute let's keep r a constant value okay for you know understanding the concept in an easy manner so let us say we are considering r something like this now this high g is this region where we find the planar solidification front or the planar interface simply why because as i told you we have even if we have any perturbations generated because of a higher temperature gradient this can easily melt down them to form this flat or planar solidification front so similarly if you are coming down the way what happens g might not actually help and cellular comes constitutional supercooling columnar veins finally columnar dendrite so if you want to actually uh, you know think in the terms of the curve that you have you know uh, studied in constitutional supercooling how that looks like let me show you so maybe i'll uh, just use here itself so what do we see there so we see something like this right so we have the temperature gradient itself i mean the temperature itself on the other side and the distance from the interface and you have the equilibrium you know the theoretical temperature you know um, from the interface into the liquid is something like this so what do you see the slope of this is nothing but dt by dx correct that is nothing but my g so what i can draw here is let me just take a different color see this 1 2 3 and 4 something like this so what you can see here is the same thing so this particular curve for this curve you can see that the temperature gradient is very high the slope is very high right temperature gradient is nothing but the slope of this particular line so as the slope is higher and at any distance the temperature the actual temperature is higher than the theoretical temperature so any if any protrusions are generated this can easily be melted down into a planar interface okay so i can write the same thing again this is planar cellular columnar dendritic and ichiastic dendritic okay something like this i can uh, write okay the same things i can i showed in this planar cellular columnar dendritic and ichiastic okay same thing using the value of g so the same thing over there right what is g dt by dx the slope is decreasing what is happening planar is converted or maybe uh, it's not that it is converted but yeah higher g gives you planar and as you come down cellular forms if you even come down there will be columnar dendrite and finally at very low values of the temperature gradient you find ichiast dendrite planes okay so i hope uh, this is clear that how my g and r is actually telling me the morphology of the nuclei that is generated or solidified so that is why g by r is called morphology ratio so number 1 is done What is two? G R. 
So what is GR? GR is cooling rate. Again, if you can see here from the value of you know uh, G itself, you can say you know to understand it better. Again, the same thing. Take R as a constant. So what is happening? If R is constant, higher the G, higher is the cooling rate. Lesser the G, lesser is the cooling rate. Correct. So what you can see, or maybe you know, if you want to just separate them out, uh, people draw like this, something like this, right? GR is nothing but the area under this curve, right? So higher means something like this, higher cooling rate, and lower would be somewhere here. Okay, lower GR, higher GR would be on the other side. So what this tells me is, at lower cooling rate, we know that you find coarser grains. Similarly, at higher cooling rate, we know that you have finer grains. So, this is actually telling me all the information about the solidification. It is telling me what type of nuclei you can form. And it is also telling me what is the size that is generated. Correct? So, G by R or GR are very very important in terms of solidification. It not only tells the morphology of the nuclear, but it also gives me the size. Okay. So maybe I can draw like this. Uh, let me disturb the whole graph. But yeah, something like this. So here I have coarser and here I have finer. Okay. Finer grains due to high GR. Of course, here coarser because of the lesser GR value. Right. So this is the concept behind everything. And what is the critical? Uh, coming back to the question again. So they are asking to calculate the critical temperature gradient. So what is the critical temperature gradient? We know critical means what? The threshold value, right? So critical is something, you know, along this particular line. That means it is telling you the minimum particular slope or the minimum temperature gradient that is required in order to see, in order to get my planar friend. So for that, there are many theories in which we have very famous theory for you know it states that the g by r ratio or the morphology ratio if it is greater than delta t by d okay where delta t is nothing but the liquidest minus solidest temperature and what is the d d is of course the diffusivity okay, diffusivity of the solute so here you can see that if my G by R, the, which is nothing but again uh, helping me for planar solidification, the minimum value is nothing but my critical thing. So, if I can write this GC, let's call it G critical, it should be greater than, or because it is critical, I can say it is delta T R by D. This is what you need to deploy for this particular question. Okay. So critical temperature gradient is nothing but the minimum temperature gradient that you require for planar solidification front to sustain or you know uh, to get maintained. So uh, that's what. So that's it. So delta T. What is delta T? Seven seventy-five minus seven hundred that is seventy-five into R. So we know what is R. It is given as four micrometer divided by D is given as D is given as ten power minus nine. So just solve this and you will get an answer and carefully observe the units Kelvin per mm. Okay. So to um, solve it and let us know in the comments what is the answer that you are getting. And I hope you are understanding the concept behind what exactly goes behind just a simple word in solidification front. Okay. So what is this condition? This is the condition steady state. planar solidification front okay so i hope this particular video has been useful to understand the concept behind uh, this particular question from ga 2021 so that's it from my side so i hope this was useful uh, do comment down uh, if you are actually struggling or you know any particular video that you are you are anticipating from us which will try to you know put efforts on and bring it to you so that's it from my side Keep preparing, stay safe, stay home for a few days until gate because you know even while tra if you need to travel for gate examination, take all the necessary precautions and uh, yeah, wishing you all a very 
Uh, all the very best for your great examination. Stay safe. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching. We'll meet you again in the upcoming videos. Thank you.